Hi, my name is Evelyn Kasina. Hi, my name is Hilda Chabet. We work at Inminet. Our work basically is just online child protection and digital well-being. Today, we're going to be debunking some common misconceptions about internet safety. Busting myths. I, like um, that. I know. So, the first myth that we're going to debunk is that strangers won't find you online if you have a private profile. That is a myth. But it works if you have a private by default account. This is especially for children between the ages of 13 to 16 who have parental controls. This means that first of all, um, their parents can see who their friends are. And also they cannot be, if, if for instance on TikTok, your account is private by default, I cannot search for say my name Hilda Chebet and my account Hilda Chebet and find it. So there is some sort of control in terms of privacy. However, for the adults, uh, some information can leak through shared connections. Even if I have a private account, someone else can request to be my follower. So some information is being shared through my connections. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. The suggested ones. Like I think if you have created an account and then you say log in with a certain app, yeah. that connection comes. So yes, you can search, really not connect, but you'll still be found. Yeah. I like yeah. that. Yeah. I like that. Mm. Myth number two, hmm. parental control is foolproof. Oh. Is there anything that is foolproof, really? No, I don't no, think so. No. However, parental control does work. Yes. It works for a certain age, mm. I do believe, like mm. um, especially for children under 13. Mm. It is a very huge deterrent to some things, even if for children above 13. Yeah. However, I do believe that there's a point where a lot of discussions have to happen. Yeah. I always keep telling parents, if you have to have parental control and you do find something that yeah. is, you know, <laughs> yeah. going overboard with your values, use parental control as a point of discussion so that at least then you're also helping your children understand why certain things are not okay mm. why they don't align with our values mm. and then of course you're supporting them through their whole online experience so yes. that they don't now start creating other accounts that block you out of yeah. what you have yeah and something that also children have told us that they look for ways to circumvent these parental control features yes yes half of the time they are successful they are yes almost all the time so it, so. it is not really mm. foolproof yeah yeah. Um, um, bottom line is you have to have an open conversation with your child about what are your values mm -hmm. and why you're putting the parental controls because they need to understand where you're coming from yeah. and uh, you need to also understand where your child is coming from because mm -hmm. some of them are just growing up they need uh, some sort of just validation yes. so just have an open conversation parental control are not foolproof you also need to have Every time, just have a conversation about online safety. And what you love to see, build trust. <coughs> build trust. Build trust build with your child. Yeah. Actually, that should be our tagline. Yeah. Build trust, build with, trust your with your child. Build trust with your child. Yes. Right. Um, myth number three. Myth number three. Using strong passwords is enough. Hmm. Well, hmm. <laughs> is it though? Not entirely. Uh, so what we advise is, first of all, you need to have two-factor authentication everywhere. Yeah. Because you'll notice that... Um, hackers circumvent some of these things because first of all uh, you, your passwords are so common if your password is your your birthday dates we can't find that anywhere if your password and I'm i know for that <laughs> and i know many people will use this it's your admission number in high school if we went to the same high school i actually know your admission number but very few people do know that right is it though because I, I, sometimes this information is online true so i might find for it gen Z, yeah. like yourself yeah millennials like myself my admission number is definitely not online. Okay, but does your sister know your admission number? No. Your sister, okay, that's no. that's different. No. So, yeah. yeah, so some common identifiers are your, your birthday dates, mm -hmm. yeah, so, or your ex. Your children's, your children's birthday, birthday your, the names of your children, you your name. Your ex? Your ex, right. sometimes. Okay. Mm, that could work because okay. not everyone knows your ex, but uh -huh. some people know your exes. Uh -huh. The other thing is also uh, saving your passwords on your browser. Oh, that's very common. Oof. For us millennials, and I know millennials, Gen Xs and boomers, mm. because we have so many things that, I mean, how many websites do we have? A lot of them. Then can we, then how do you suggest that we save our passwords? In a written paper or book? No, don't, huh? just don't save it on browser because anytime oh, you log forget. in and someone else, for instance, and this has happened before, I have had a friend whose PayPal account was, was logged into because they had saved it online. And uh -huh. all, he yeah. had like huge monies there, yeah. it all went down because someone could log in and then the other thing that you shouldn't do which is not advisable is just um, using the same password for all, all platforms. platforms I know it's it's like the easiest and most convenient thing to do because you don't want to have 101 passwords everywhere uh, however for the risk of forgetting because we are really forgetful yeah and just getting tired yes and there's also a lot of information everywhere so you don't need to to like have 
but uh, it, it's not advisable because it's uh, it's one of the ways that for instance hackers can circumvent that so yeah i think those are some of the common misconceptions that we hear about internet safety yeah yeah some of the myths that we have taken you guys through today are number one strangers won't find you online if you have a private prof profile number two parental controls are foolproof well they're not and number three using strong passwords are enough every time so mm -mm. Yeah. So do you have any myths that you would like us to debunk? Something that you heard before, you're not very sure whether it is true or not true. Mm -hmm. Please put it on the comments and we will definitely help you to debunk whether it is the truth or it's a myth and what to do to support your online experience.